All right, welcome back, good people. On this video, I'm titling it Preparation. Because whenever you get ready to do something, you're going to have to prepare, right? If you decide to go to the grocery store, you're going to have to mentally check off some things you're going to need to get or check off some things you're going to need to ask yourself before you leave what you need at the grocery store, right? So preparation is very important in almost anything you do. So I want to share some things with you that I've uh, researched this week about preparation and perhaps certain things will uh, kind of resonate. If not, uh, maybe it will open uh, a light or open a door for you, right? Or shine a light on the fact that, you know, this is something you could possibly get better at if you do, would do that, right? Because a lot of times it has to come from somebody else, right? For us to m make sense of it. And whoever that somebody else is, is not necessarily uh, somebody that you follow all the time. Sometimes it could just be a random video like this one that you happen to uh, be watching. And all of a sudden, you hear something that makes sense that you want to share with the next person or the next several persons that you, you know, cross paths with in life. That's how it works in this world, right? So, preparation is a management principle whereby people get ready for a final product or a successful experience. Preparation means a substance is specially prepared. Preparation is a proceeding or readiness for a future event as a goal and an acceptable, accomplished, accomplished final outcome. So the word prepare means to put the proper readiness beforehand and has a relationship to the word parent. Right, it does. Uh, but when you prepare to do something, it also makes you feel more uh, ready, more confident, right? You you know you put in the work. Like if you had to study for a test and you hadn't done any preparation, you hadn't really studied, you hadn't even opened the book or read the chapter, you're not prepared and you know it, <laughs> right? And you're probably not going to do well because just having like common sense doesn't uh, get you past a lot of things that are more structured, right? And some things that you actually have to know or have heard, or have read, or have seen someplace, right? Other than that, you wouldn't know. Like, the rules, let's say the rules of a sport, that you're not familiar with the rules of, let's say, soccer. And you have to learn to play soccer, but you don't know the rules. You, you first need to be introduced to those, right? Those are the basics. The basics of anything is to understand the rules involved. If you don't understand the rules involved, how can you be effective? How does that work? It doesn't. <laughs> it simply doesn't. So the better you are prepared going forward in whatever venture you're doing, the better your chances of success. Now, um, as I was doing some research on that uh, word prepare or preparation, I uh, ran across another system that talked about concepts, it talked about checklists, and it talked about different systems involved with preparation, right? So I'm going to share a little bit about that with you, and uh, it'll open your eyes to a different uh, vi uh, perspective on that as well. Now it says concept. The concept of preparation is where one prepares or makes ready for something. An example of a preparatory process is when a high school student prepares for a higher education by taking the appropriate college prep courses. High school students can also take certain courses that will enable them to be prepared for the workforce upon graduation. Certain school courses teach preparation for choosing a career. The discipline of the old school step-by-step -step meticulous preparing is getting ready for something leads to ultimate accomplishment. So preparation is um, more than just an idea, it's a concept and it's also incorporated in other uh, systems that uh, reward you for going through that process, right? In other words, if you prepare yourself the concept of preparation 
and you understand that and you put in that work and that time, then you can expect the outcome to be like you want it. You can expect to be able to go to college because you prepared, you studied, now you know the information that you're going to be tested on, right? Now, uh, the third thing I want to talk about in reference to preparation is a checklist. Preparation is preparing and getting ready materials and equipment before an event takes place. Many times a checklist is a result of someone not doing the proper beforehand steps needed before a major event is to occur, such as an airplane takeoff or a medical procedure. The latter disastrous results happen because of the lack of preparedness. So there are things that not only you and I need to prepare for, but other people need to prepare for that are going to be dealing with you and I, right? If you're going to be flying the plane and you're going to be performing surgery on me, there are certain steps you need to do that make your chances of success very well or very high when it comes to you know, me living or dying, right? Now, the final thing I want to talk to you about on this is <clears throat> different systems. Uh, it says, having a well-defined preparation system will increase your chances of becoming a strong competitor. Preparation is to harness your passion of something with a system of developing steps to accomplish a good outcome. For example, Wikipedia Wikipedians, these are people who work at Wikipedia, do certain steps in preparing to create new articles. Uh, preparation is used in business transaction and management. Professionals in all fields that achieve their goals are masters at preparing and putting their ducks in a row. Many times an important part of preparation is the concept that time is of the essence and applies especially to contract law. Uh, preparation allows time needed to do the right steps sequentially in the correct order instead of panicking and doing quick steps haphazardly with no thought as to, as to what should come first and what should come next. Preparation gives you better results as a conclusion where one can achieve what's desired. Avoiding proper preparation through scheming or shortcuts in the long run doesn't pay and will give you unwanted results. Agree or disagree? Right? Enough said, right? Now we're talking about common sense earlier. So common sense would say to prepare before you take a a, a leap, right? Before you decide to jump in the water, uh, get your mind right so you can see what's in the water, right? It may be alligators, it may be sharks, it may be something you don't want, you know, in the water to be in the water with. So you want to prepare your situation, your surroundings, and get as much knowledge about what you're about to do beforehand as possible. And you're almost guaranteed to be a winner. Because, see, you don't win necessarily by winning. You win by participating. Because that gives you the best chance of winning. If you feel that you can do it, but you don't do it, you, you're not going to do it. <laughs> it's not possible to do it. right? You have to get in the game of life. You can't let life just keep passing you by because you don't want to prepare for it, a certain thing. Right? It's like if you're going to write a book, if you're going to create a video, you're going to have to prepare some things first, right? You're going to have to do that. You're going to have to prepare a, a structure for you to introduce things in a certain way that makes sense to people because you're going to be addressing people, right? You and I are people. You're going to be addressing people just like you and I. So you want us to be able to follow a sequence or a, a flow with something that makes sense and we'll do that especially if it's engrossing it's in maybe uh, an eye opener of some sort maybe it's just uh, uh, enhance or enlightening how I'm feeling right it may, it may make me feel like Ooh, I needed to hear that 
You know, that's really, that's really good. I, as a matter of fact, I need to write that down so I can share that with somebody else. That's where my mind goes when I hear really, really good stuff. Ooh, I need to write that down. Or I need to copy and paste that. Or I need to do this and do that. Because I do research. <laughs> and as much research as I do, I know a lot of people don't do it that much. So I know they don't run across a lot of information that I do. So I think it's my obligation to share some things just throw it out there and let some people, you know, whoever can grab it, grab it. Because otherwise they might not get that opportunity, right? Alright, hope you liked that video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share these videos, and I'll see you on the next video.